Hi, I'm Seth Berkley, CEO of Gavi the Vaccine Alliance, and I'm sorry I can't be with you today for this important meeting. I'd like to start, first of all, by congratulating the cholera task force, um, as well as the member states for their continued engagement in this important area. Gavi considers the work on cholera control to be incredibly important and something we're quite proud of because we've been able to increase availability of vaccines, including stockpiles. And given the report that was launched by the task force and the engagement on an agenda for cholera control by 2030, we're seeing more activities moving to do that. Critical for this, obviously, is not just vaccines. Vaccines are well-placed to make a difference in emergency situations, and often it is in these fragile settings where we need to make sure that vaccines are made available. And of course, in those settings, Gavi has set up flexibilities to make sure that we can operate there as efficiently as possible. Uh, COVID, of course, has made a dramatic change in the way we're working, all of us around the world. First of all, it has um, slowed down the use of routine vaccines, and that is a challenge because, of course, routine vaccines are critical to be able to prevent disease. And we know that if you stop having routine vaccines uh, for the purpose of trying to prevent um, uh, uh, COVID disease, for every death you prevent from COVID, you'd have between 100 and 140 deaths from vaccine-preventable diseases. Of course, an oral cholera vaccine isn't a vaccine that is, in a sense, well suited to be used in an emergency setting because it can be done much more easily um, in a controlled and protected setting than an injectable vaccine. We very much look forward to working with you during this period to try to improve the um, access to these products, but rem must remember that vaccines alone are not what's going to control this epidemic. We need to make sure that the vaccination work is done along with water and sanitation and hygiene, the other critical tools that are going to be necessary and in fact are going to be the success, success factors if we want to end cholera for all time. Thank you.